Hi everybody, I'm Giancarlo Caltabiano, host of Board to Death TV, and today we have a very special exclusive. This is the first time, first look video of Aqua Mirabilis. Now this game is not out yet, it's coming out later this year at Essen. How does it play? Well, stay tuned. The French court of King Louis XIV was so fragrant, it was known as the perfumed court. Perfume, or aqua mirabilis as it was known, quickly became all the rage. Impress the court and the king with your new fragrances and become the most prominent master perfumer in aqua mirabilis. The board here is set, with each player having their own player board and starting with the distillation method and an originality token. Depending on whom goes first, players will get between none or three flowers determined by player order. The selection of these flowers will also denote the current court and king's preference in the court of Versailles. On an active player's turn, they'll either perform a production or an action this turn. They may also produce a perfume at any time as well, given that they have the prerequisite sense and level. At the start of the day, the only available thing to do is action. Here, on the sundial wheel, it'll denote up to how many action points you have. These can be spent to perform one action by placing your perfumer on an available spot on the board. The market will allow you to place your perfumer on a spot and move up to two workers each to any other space in the market for one action point each. Then you'll take the flower of each space your perfumer and workers are in. In the apprenticeship section, you can purchase apprenticeship for the cost listed here or a new production method tile. These will go on your board as part of your resume and production area. The court life is where you'll get important letter of recommendations and possibly look at the end game objectives. These four will have been randomly placed face down from a possible unique 12. Placing your perfumer in a couple section will always grant you with the letter of recommendation provided you have a letter of recommendation from the previous level. But, to peek at the objective tile, you'll need to give a gift of what the lady asks for, scents, originality token, or a whole perfume bottle. The number of gifts you give will allow you to place that many influence tokens there. Not only will this allow you to peek at the objective token, but having a majority of influence will allow you to take the lady favor token from that spot or from another player. These can give you bonus points later on when presenting a perfume to Versailles. You may wish to also travel Europe to acquire various things. If you have the required letter of preference, you'll acquire the top tile of where you are and add it to your resume. These are one-shot tiles that might give you points, but you might also want to keep them to add to your level for making complicated perfumes. And lastly, as an action, you can go to Versailles to present the perfume you created. You'll choose one of your perfumes and present it to the king. You'll look at your base scents, cross-reference with your secondary scent. You'll take an originality token there, if any, place a cube and score one point per empty space there. If you match the court's preference, you'll score as many points as the level of your reference letter and three points if you align with the king's preference. Lastly, if both are aligned, it's perfection and you score an extra point. You'll repeat the process for a secondary scent should you have one, but not score again the king's preference. When you take an action from the list above, you'll turn the sundial that many times clockwise. If you reach here, you'll start a new day and advance the day of the week marker one space. If it reaches Sunday, the flower market will refill based on orders, presented perfumes will move up and be able to be presented again, and the preference matrix is reset. The court wants what's more fashionable and they'll move down cyclically to the next row of the most cubes. The king looks for originality and moves right cyclically to the column with the least cubes. And gameplay continues. So, how do we make perfume you ask? That is the second available option on your turn called production. Here you can place flowers on your tiles to extract their essence and make scents. The production value will tell you how many production points you have and you can use that many from the same production method if you wish to make your scents. Flip the flower tiles over and you now have that scent. Then you can store any amount of flowers here because if not, the flowers will have withered and you must discard them. 
Then check your coach leg movement. You can move up to that many spaces, even sharing spaces with other coaches. If you reach a city and have a level of recommendation equal to or higher than it, you may choose any tile in that city, not just the top one, and add it to your resume. Know that taking the production action will automatically make you start a new day, so move the day of the week marker up. At any point during your turn, you can complete a perfume recipe if you have at least the level of the recipe. Your resume and production methods will add one level each. If so, and have the required scent, you'll create a perfume and place it here to be ready and shown at Versailles. Lastly, when your turn is done from either taking a production or action step and maybe completing a perfume, you can discard one originality token to take an extra turn. You can only do this once per turn, but know that each originality token also counts for one victory point each at the end of the game, so choose when to do this wisely. Play proceeds until the last Sunday is triggered. Play continues until we reach the player who triggered the last Sunday, and there, there will be a final perfume parade with a little twist. Players can present all their perfumes, no originality token will be taken as they are all removed, and no cubes will be placed. You simply present your perfumes and score it as is, so the order of how players present perfumes don't matter. We then go to final scoring. One point per originality token you have, flip city top bonus points, the player with the most majority in each court's couple receives 5 victory points, and finally the game end bonus tiles are revealed and you count points for the ones you've completed. The player with the most points is the winner. And there you have your first look at Aqua Mirabilis. Now this isn't a full on review as final production copy is not available yet and some rules might get tweaked. But this is what I can say about this version of the game. Being a Euro gamer, Aqua Mirabilis does not disappoint. The interaction between players doesn't come so much from the worker placement aspect of the game of blocking people off, but it's more of a timing one. When will a player advance the day marker and reset your perfumes each Sunday, and when they use their originality token to take an extra turn can seriously turn your plans on their head. Add to that the timing of when's the right time to present perfumes at Versailles and when's the right time to take over a majority of a lady's favor and you'll have a game worthy to push your tactical and strategical limits to its edge. Now we played the games three times and enjoyed every one. We can't wait for the final production and give Aqua Mirabilis the proper review it deserves. But for now, know that it'll be at Spiel Essen 2019 for you to try out or purchase.